Hi guys, this is Mrs. Gassler. In this video, we're going to talk about lab equipment, what it is, and what it does. First up, we have an electronic balance. The purpose of this thing is to measure the mass of a substance or a sample or an object, um, a liquid you could put in another beaker, but uh, that's what it does. Sometimes we just call it a balance and leave off the word electronic, but it does work on electricity, see the cord? Uh, and so we call it an electronic balance. This one is a beaker. It looks like a cup. It's got some markings on it that you can do a little bit of measuring, but you'll notice that they're pretty big. This is the side that we'll be using to do the measuring because it measures zero at the bottom. Um, those numbers are really big, so we can't get very precise on this, so this would just be to get an approximate value. This object here is called a Bunsen burner. It will be connected to the gas valves that are on the lab stations. It uh, produces a flame out of the top that we can have uh, be a little bit like a torch or sometimes like a candle, depending on how you adjust these little things right here. Uh, you'll probably need some help with that, but a Bunsen burner is what we call it. There are other kind of burners out there, but Bunsen burner is the one we use for fire in chemistry class. This thing is called a dropper. You've probably used one. Sometimes they're called medicine droppers. Uh, a lot of the droppers we have actually have little lines on them so you can measure a very specific amount of liquid, uh, a small amount of liquid. Uh, you squeeze the little bulb on the end. This is called the bulb. And you uh, draw the liquid up and then put it where you'd like it to be. That's a dropper. This guy here is called an Erlenmeyer flask. It's a lot like a beaker for transporting heating liquids, um, except it's got a smaller opening at the top and you can put a rubber stopper in there if you happen to need uh, to close it up for a while. Uh, stoppers sometimes have holes, so then you can use it to collect liquids or gases. Uh, it's actually a pretty useful thing. Erlenmeyer flask, that's how you say Erlenmeyer uh, flask. This object here is called a funnel. This would be held on uh, something called a ring stand and a ring clamp. So a ring stand is a little support system. And then you've got a little clamp that holds the funnel sitting in it so that you can uh, filter liquids or collect liquids into a smaller container. Uh, usually there's a beaker or something that it's filtering into, but the filter paper would just fits inside there. Uh, you might have used these if you've ever changed oil or seen somebody changed oil. Uh, or needed to put something in a little bottle, a bottle with a little hole at the top. Um, this is called a funnel. We looked at, the, at these the other day. These are safety goggles. You would use these to keep uh, things out of your eyes, like chemicals. Um, they've got this lip around the edge here that protects from liquids coming in. These goggles are actually inappropriate right now. This little thing should be folded down. Uh, because it keeps the liquids out when it's folded up. You can actually see right inside there. We don't really want anything to go right inside there, so that's bad. Uh, so these would need to be fixed before they should be worn appropriately, but you can adjust them with that lovely strap to protect your eyes. This is a graduated cylinder. They come in a variety of sizes. This one looks like it holds 10 milliliters. You can see the amounts there. Um, these little marks all over it uh, are little tick marks. That is the graduated part. That means that you can measure very precise amounts with this graduated cylinder. Uh, they can measure very precise large amounts and very precise small amounts depending on the size of the graduated cylinder that you have. This object looks quite a bit like a balance, but it is in fact a hot plate. This surface right here it gets nice and warm when you plug it in and turn it on. Um, there's a number that shows up here that is pretty much meaningless, but uh, you can turn it on nice and hot, and nice and a little bit cooler um, to warm liquids. Uh, then you would put your beaker or Erlenmeyer flask here to uh, heat the liquids, um, and then you could do a lot of other things with the hot plate as well. That's a hot plate. This object here is a ring stand. It has a nice heavy base that uh, keeps it still and then there's a long pole, you can't really tell here, but that's sticking up um, that you attach things to. And there's all sorts of clamps that you would put on here and they screw in usually and they, they can hold a variety of things. Maybe they hold a, a test tube, um, maybe it's just a little ring on it that you put a funnel in, but there's a large amount of things that you could put on a ring stand, ring stand. 
This object here is called a scupula. It's a long piece of metal. It's curved. Um, it's hard to tell from this angle, but it's kind of curved this way um, downward. It is actually a scoop and a spatula mixed together. A spatula is something that you could scrape using an edge, and a scoop is something that you could use to scoop up some stuff. So this is a scupula. This object here is called a stir rod. Uh, it is made of glass and it has a rubbery end on it. This rubbery end works a little bit like a spatula while you're stirring or if you need to scrape at the bottom of a beaker or a test tube or something like that. Uh, and then this is made of glass, so you have to be careful not to drop it. Um, the spatula also helps keep it from rolling off the table. It is a stir rod or a stirring rod. This thing here is a test tube. Uh, you would mix chemicals in the bottom of the test tube uh, or heat liquids or solids in the bottom of the test tube by using um, either a Bunsen burner or putting it in a water bath. Uh, test tubes are nice and clear so you can see what's going on inside them and have a good look at uh, a reaction that might be taking place in there. These are tongs. They look a little bit like scissors, but their purpose in life is to help you pick up things that are hot. Uh, we also have some test tube tongs. Let me see if I can draw a picture of those. They've got two little clampy things on the end, and then they kind of switch like this. Uh, these are for holding test tubes. Um, they're also tongs. Um, but they can be used. The purpose is to hold hot things. You can see that these tongs have very well done their purpose. Uh, that could have been your fingers if you were not using tongs. Tongs for picking up hot things. Last one, this is called a watch glass. It looks like a giant contact. It's got a nice little surface in the middle where you could put stuff to see how it reacts or you could use it to uh, weigh stuff or hold something. Uh, in the meantime, it also makes a good lid for a beaker so stuff doesn't fly out if you needed to use it that way. Uh, and that concludes our lab equipment video. If you have any questions, make sure you ask your teacher.